Apparently in King County, some ballots have been vandalized, and this is important because of the closeness of the Seattle mayor's race. Apparently more ballots vandalized than ballots separating the two candidates for mayor, if you can believe it. Uh, something like 800 ballots vandalized and only about 500 votes separating the two candidates for mayor. Alan Schaffler's in the newsroom with an update on that story. We are talking about 860 ballots that have now been set aside. What happens to them will be decided when the canvas board meets again early next week. These ballots were found sometime Wednesday morning in a drop box at election headquarters that had been vandalized. The locking mechanism put in place at 8 o'clock Tuesday night had been torn off and there were 860 ballots inside that box. So what to do with them? Remember, elections workers are still counting the ballots that have been coming in in the mail with updates on the races announced every afternoon. And we have an election for mayor in Seattle that has a separation of 515 votes right now. Mike McGinn has led since the first count on election night and is ahead of Joe Malahan in the race that features two political newcomers. The McGinn campaign gave us this statement today. We are concerned about the ballots, but the drop box was not in the city of Seattle, and we don't see any reason to comment on it. As for the Malahan camp, they tell me today it's a shame that anybody would take the voting process so lightly and possibly jeopardize that process. They say they do have confidence in the elections department to handle these ballots in an appropriate manner. So lots of questions this afternoon. Why weren't these ballots picked up Tuesday night? Were they put in that drop box after the voting deadline passed? Will they be counted? All of those answers still out there somewhere. We'll have more on all this on King 5 News tonight. I'm Alan Schaffler in the newsroom.